I know last time I said this, I said this, that I'm not, that this car is not designed to be driven for expedited freight or, you know, taken on loads and put pallets in. What happened is what? One, two, three, that was a Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. Anyway, four days later, five days later, I am uh, taking a different, taking this thing out again because I didn't finish the van. I was too late. I actually was very busy. Um, what I have done already is it, I had an alternator problem last time in the last video that I did. So I did uh, take it apart. I had to help in church one evening. Then the next day, that was a Thursday. That was a Thursday. Thursday then I went for a long. Oh, okay, never mind, yeah. So anyways, I'm all starting to remember what happened and what, how, how it's been, how it went down. Long story short is, I didn't get it repaired yet. Um, I did start taking it apart, then it started raining, then Saturday I couldn't do anything. Sunday came along, it was my birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and today is Monday, I was going to go outside and get it done, get the alternator replaced anyways, and then I was going to go take out my crank sensor, and uh, possibly go buy one, order one, whatever it would take, and put that in, and then see how it goes, see what it would do, if it would at least start firing up on me, but... You know, all that didn't happen because now, at the end of the day, it's 4 o'clock now, I headed out for this local delivery. Local is 400 miles round trip for me still, but I still consider it local. Um, I'm picking up out of Kennewick, Washington, Lamb Weston, and then taking it to another Lamb Weston in Quincy. The round trip is 400 miles from home. Pick up, deliver it back home for all miles. All miles um, We're in the middle of nowhere. There's nobody, nobody's going to do this for, for any less. Unless they're going to Seattle. and you know, Still, either way, from there to Seattle, it's the same amount of miles. So they're paying me a round trip on this. Um, not all drivers can get paid round trip. It just happens once in a while. I mean, I, you know, we've been on a lot of loads for everybody, so it's. Anyways, end of October, well, today is September 13th, we have beautiful weather still, it shows 74 outside, which is really nice, um, it's really sunny, but at the end of the week and then into next week, I think my wife was saying we're looking like into the 60s, so it's going to get colder. Um, as it's going to get colder, it's going to be tougher to work on that van out there because I am going to have zero want, <laughs> desire, want, desire, or anything like that to be crawling under there when it's all nice and cold, especially when you're used to a nice hot summer. But I need to get it done. Um, I'm seriously thinking and seriously looking at buying another van um, I do have one that I've I haven't went out and looked at it I don't like doing that unless I can you know work out a deal with the guy to come down in the numbers for me and he already did he wanted 42,000 I've been I've been on and off with him for like a week and a half now he's had it he keeps lowering like $500 once a week on the thing but he still hasn't um, and when I talked to him uh, he so originally he wanted 42,000 right now as of today because I I spoke with him today again he's down to actually 33,000 on it from 44 down to 33 I told him hey if you can do 30 I'll come and grab it I got paper cash for you let's get it done because for some reason, I don't know why, when I was selling my truck and my car, wife's car, um, people think that cash, I don't know what the definition of cash is anymore, 
apparently cash doesn't mean paper cash anymore because you have to actually say paper cash these days for them to be able to bring you cash you know i told them hey i want it all in cash and they're like oh cashier's check i'm like no cashier's check is not cash i want paper cash i want money and they're like that is money i'm like no i want money like bills paper money so you have to like tell people these days paper cash because they think everything is cash if you're not going to the to the bank to get a loan then that means cash I don't know, I'm old-fashioned. For me, paper cash, that's what's cash. When you're actually holding the paper in your hand, that's what's cash. So, my deal is with him, I wanted I wanted him to do, I wanted him to take 30,000, but he's down to 33. I mean, I did work him down, I'm not, you know, I'm not haggling for no point. It's just, it's a 2014, it's got 124,000 miles. And honestly, um, in 14, that van cost $43,000 new. Maybe between 43 and 47, because those were the years that a lot of our drivers were getting signed on with us and were getting brand new vans. And I know my, uh, my father even went and got one in Kentucky, and he was like at 41 something. So buying it from Kentucky somewhere, there was a bigger dealership. Um, and, they, and he got it for like 41 so brand new 2.1 liter this guy's got the 170 wheelbase extended so that's exactly the model that I want it's actually bigger than mine it's actually another 12 inches longer than mine it's a 170 plus it's extended so inside from the back door to the back of a seat either driver or passenger seat it's 192 inches long so those of you guys who want to sign up with us and want to drive and you're you know asking me about these like ProMaster city vans or these Ford connects and things like that or these Nissan NV 200s guys come on there's no room for three pallets in there there's no room for a bed you can take maybe one pallet in there and have no room to sleep in it. And our freight, you never know what it's gonna be, how big it's gonna be. A lot of times they say what it's gonna be and it turns out to be twice as long, twice as big, hanging out from the sides, being twice as tall. And if you're gonna go 200 miles to go pick it up, these brokers do not pay us for these 200 miles. They give us a little bit of a cancellation charge and that's it. They don't care how many miles you drove, if you drove 20 miles or if you drove a thousand miles to pick up, that won't matter. So I'm just saying all these things considered, you have to get yourself, get yourself a bigger van. And so this one van is perfect. If this guy can come down to 30,000, I'm gonna take it. But it's still a 3.0. Ideally, I really wanted a 2.1 liter. I wanted that four cylinder. I wanted that really good fuel economy. That way, in case I need to drop 50 bucks here and there, I mean, because whenever I go out, I have to get the round trip pay because I'm in an area that I go pick up in Montana and Idaho in the middle of nowhere and Oregon in the middle of nowhere, things like that. So they pay the round trip, but a lot of times they don't want to do it because of an extra 50 or 100 bucks. Well, if I can get 27 to 30 miles per gallon on the four cylinder versus the 20, you know, that's that's a big difference especially when the fuel is actually so expensive these days sorry i'm taking up all your time explaining weird weird things but hopefully you guys can learn a few things from this and you know it'd be useful for you if you haven't subscribed yet i need you guys to please subscribe to the channel i do have a thousand subscribers already but you know that ain't that ain't a whole lot of nothing so we need to get that subscribers number up and I need to get the like likes up and I need to get well somebody got pulled over right there and I need to get some comments in the video if you guys can do that I'll send you out a Washington State license plate I got a few of them I got maybe three or four that I can send out so we can do some we can do some drawings for you guys for the best 
best comment or something or uh, or best amount of likes if we can get if we can get 300 likes on a 300th one we can do a set of license plates for you guys to hang in your garage or inside your van if you're expediting already then you can write you know from Eagle Express I'll sign it for you guys since I'm the big star thousand subscribers whoop de We'll get that sign for you guys. I'll put my signature on it. We'll write a good note for good luck for you. You can hang it on the inside of your van. So let's get that subscriber up there. I'm not asking you guys for money. I'm not asking you guys for donations. It's just a simple subscribe, a like, and a quick comment. That's it. 300th comment is going to automatically get a license plate set and the best comment that I'll get I'll pick two and then out of the two we'll do like a little drawing or whatever somehow and uh, get you guys a license plate for you guys as well for the best comment that you guys will do so stay tuned we'll go pick this thing up from Lamb Weston so what you can do in here and what this is what I do is you can get a massage while you're driving there's quite a lot of different settings and it's actually a pretty decent massage the whole back all the way up to your neck so on and so forth so I think it should be a standard in cargo vans these days I mean technology is moving up they keep doing you know all kinds of weird things they want cars to fly and drive by themselves and so on and so forth how come we can't get massage seats in all the commercial vehicles so driver can feel rested driver can be less fatigued i think that's a great idea so escalade really big props to you if you guys are going to be watching and i know you're not maybe your kids or your grandkids someday will be watching this it'd be nice to have all commercial vehicles have massage chairs at least for the driver if not the passenger but it'd be nice if you could put it in both that way drivers driving passengers always getting, getting a massage anyways and then uh, you know drivers are nice and relaxed can go in the back take a nap you know what I'm talking about let's get that on the road time to seat the, the horse and uh, wouldn't take my card but I had to go inside and pay there's the price 363 so I gave him told him to get me a hundred bucks we'll see if I can get it there or not the other problem is I got a piss and uh, I don't have a I don't have a cup in here so I used to go in inside and pee and get and go try it my question was will a hundred bucks fit in here look at that it did and it still hasn't even shut off on its own what does that tell you that tell you that tells you there's room for more usually we do like 10 20 dollars you know a little skimpy a little skimpy usually 10 20 dollars to fill it up this time Hundred bucks. Well, at least he'll get me home. Got some gizzards and I got a bang. Usually I get a Red Bull. Um, and then uh, I took into account of looking at how, <laughs> how much sugars it has in there. I like the taste of it, but the problem is the sugars in it. So it's got like over 50 grams of sugar and this has zero so we're gonna try try sugar free the other thing is there's no crash after this bang versus the other one so we'll see i'll let you guys know over time how i do with it versus red bull red bull has been my you know love the taste of it um you know not so much for energy but just summertime you know it's it's just the taste
Maybe that's why I can't get my six pack going. Because of the taste. Maybe we'll get rid of the good taste and, you know, it'll show up on its own. Supposedly it's one little box out of the pool room. something from this plant and go to Quincy. seeing things I'll remember the rest <laughs> thank you I'm here I found the tool room I'm gonna take a sip of my all right look at this out of this bus. I don't know how I'm supposed to be eating with a finger like that. Anyways, there's that tool room. I'm gonna go inside, grab it, come right out, show you guys that it's a little box. Thing is, I've been to these plants before. It's actually a potato plant, not a not a meat plant. I'm sorry, L misled you guys. Yeah, they do like french fries and potatoes and all kinds of kinds of things out of potatoes. So. Before I've been there, I've been here and uh, they did not let you fill yourself inside. It's okay, I don't want to make it. So I just got loaded, I'll show you this piece in one second. I just wanted to show you guys um, what this Lamb Western is all about. Might get in trouble, might never come here again, but you guys see the french fries on the ground right there? There's french fries in that last thing right there. There's all kinds of things. So they do potato stuff. Potato, potato. Potato, potato. <clears throat> um, the piece, the piece, the piece, my freight. You guys ready for this thing? Boom. Let me get out of this area. Ooh, this is horrible. Here's my freight. Guy couldn't find it. Was looking around all over, all over for it. I mean, it didn't take long to get loaded or anything. He just couldn't find the, the thing. Um, but it was laying, because it was laying right in front of his face, that's why he couldn't find it. Besides that, that's it. It's some kind of little breaker, like a little breaker for something, piece of electronics. That's all it is, I didn't even put it in the box or anything. I'm supposed to just go and hand it off to another guy, hand to hand, you know what I mean? Hand to hand thing. So let's get going. I don't know if I have to check back out over here or not. Let's see what they say. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Thank you much. They opened it up, I'm done. Now I gotta figure out which way to go. 
Oh boy. Time to put the address in the GPS and see where I need to go. Here's the potatoes, you guys can see. But I wasn't joking, right there. And inside those garages, Inside those uh, garages, they unload these trucks over there. There's like a little belt system. They put it on another system, and they unload all the potatoes right there. Pretty simple. This is a simple one. The Boise one, that's what, that's what's up over there. Maybe it's just because I was in the middle of the night over there. But man, I tell you what, I had a real problem over there a long time ago. Maybe a year ago or whatever it's been. That was an issue. 86 miles out is what this place is. Going from one Lamb Weston to the other. And um, problem is the speed limit here is only 55, but hey, I got my 100 bucks in here, so let's go waste this fuel. Give it some fire. This is Vantage. The bridge is over there. You guys know the well-known bridge. Right over there. Did some drone flights and all that on there. And uh, I came by here to use the bathroom. Bathroom's over here. I wanted to show you guys a quick view of this place. How it looks like right now. I don't know if the wind is bad or not. Guess you can catch your fish that I never caught. Grill it right here, or on the second one, eat it at this table. And here's what the view looks like. The moon is out already. Sunset was over there. Well, right there, I should say. And then this is how it looks. Let's roll. Or first I gotta go pee. That's the reason I stopped over here. 
I'm a little confused. Look at this. You know what I mean? They're both all gender. I don't know what that means. Anybody there? Oh, it's empty. Kiss and go. Oh boy. So seeing seeing this camping site. That's actually a camping spot over there. Oh, I stopped to use the bathroom. And uh Jesus is so loud. Oh. Real nice to have some steering wheel controls. My beast didn't Um anyways what I was gonna say is I'm so used to uh so used to camp and camped three weeks last year, almost three weeks this year, on and off. And uh, it's been awesome seeing that camp spot again. Uh, man, I'd do it again. It is 75, 75 out, September 13th out here. And it's 7.33 p.m. local time, so quite warm for this time of the year. Still not bad. But it's all gonna change soon. Look how beautiful it is out here. Awesome. Well, we are on site. I gotta find the front desk, wherever that is. And that's for Fernando. Let's go see if we can find him. I feel bad for these guys, seriously. Um, they did sign for it. Um, the problem is, the guy that received it, he looked at it right away and says, man, that's the wrong valve. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, they, that's the wrong one. Supposedly, uh, this is a newer version and they needed an older version of it. So whoever got the stuff ready, 
they got the wrong one ready and they just really honestly wasted their money on this the broker made money i made money but these guys are you know without what they needed which which really sucks i mean now i'm still gonna get paid for it no matter what it's not my fault or anything like that i was you know i brought what i was given um i gave it to them with the paperwork so it's all good on on you know what i did was right except for you know whoever prepared the stuff it was the wrong stuff so ah sucks real sad about that but what are you gonna do i'm hungry i'm thinking taco bell or i don't know what else is here so let's go eat there's how much fuel i wasted what can i show you guys right there really almost nothing let's go waste a little more driving home ah that sucks i'm serious you know i feel bad for them somebody made a mistake like that ouch 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 i've been here many times actually i picked up a lot from here and i've dropped off quite a bit over here too uh just in my in my driving time so these guys uh it's lamb weston once again they make the anything potato the fries chris caught fries chips all the goodies and there's what it looks like 